Oh, my gosh. All right, I said I'd get into the news. Here it is. Um, this was pointed out by Jaron, who's been doing a bunch of research on it today. I've sent it over to the Watson brothers, and one of them chooses to do a story. Starlicide, or gull toxic, is a chemical that's used to kill European starlings and gulls, but less toxic to other birds and mammals. And it's got restricted use, and uh, Jaron looked at 99... 2000, 2008, 2009, constant scandals with starlicide killing birds, and it sprayed for some reason in December and January dealing with soybeans, which are grown heavily in Arkansas and surrounding areas. But the state could be covering up that it was used and saying, oh, they didn't uh, die from any poison. But could starlicide liquefy their organs? I doubt it. It needs to be looked into. But uh, something that uh, Jaron dug up there and that is important we know they use restricted pesticides all the time without authorization it would be the first time the state covered it up because the states are caught all the time using restricted pesticides okay let me just look there's only one way to get to all this news i'll just go through it stack by stack because it's all out of control in here leaked document epa knowingly approved bee killing pesticide that's confirmed by natural news and uh, it, it goes to the fact that they knew that the pesticide cloth e anodin, cloth e anodin, uh, would wipe out honeybees, but the EPA quietly gave authorization for it to be used nationwide, and it's used in Europe. And those are the main zones where the honeybees are dying in mass, along with most species uh, of bumblebee, which pollinate the plants, but corporations don't care. They'd rather tax your carbon dioxide that plants breathe instead of caring about anything serious, ah, open-air clones, open-air cloned animals, toxic waste everywhere, chemical warfare, biological weapons, genetic engineering, mouse pox, flu shots everywhere, all these dangerous things, all these mutagens. Let's not worry about that. Let's worry about mother's milk to the earth, carbon dioxide, just absolute buffoonery. Get all the hippies worried about something that doesn't matter instead of all these real crises. Man, whatever. Whatever they want to do, so that's it. Uh, mass bird and fish die-offs go global, spark end times panic. Brazil, Sweden, New Zealand hit with strange phenomenon as speculation rages. Key article by Paul Joseph Watson boiling all of that down. Why are the animals dying? Birds, fish wiped out in mysterious deaths. Mike Adams got a good report on that. Uh, Victorian uh, River up in uh, Canada uh, turns bright green, very mysterious. Don't know what's going on with that. Um... Uh, Humans have intentionally modified weather for military purposes and climate control for decades. So how do we know all this freak weather isn't caused by that? Or chain reactions from weather modification? The answer is a lot of it is caused by that. Uh, and uh, we've seen a lot of floods and things in the past have been connected directly to Army testing and Navy testing. Right here where I live in Texas, it came out in, about 12 years ago in the San Antonio Express News. They caused a bunch of floods. Um, so that continues. This is just one stack. i got like 10. I'm never going to get to all this. Um, so that's an important area. Here's another report. New York City blizzard. Feds open criminal probe into alleged city worker conspiracy during storm response. It's been confirmed that they had a uh, union slowdown. You know, how do you do that when people are dying? Can't you have your uh, protest some other time? But it, it, it's just insane. Continuing. Uh, oh, no, not another ice age, and uh, even Fox News covered this. This is uh, a report here from IMVA about how incredibly accurate uh, the uh, predictions were of Piers Corbin. We had him on here early last year. He predicted exactly what happened dealing with the solar winds and also magnetic effects of the Earth in relationship to moon cycles. Amazing. And there's a lot of reports about how devastatingly accurate he is. We're going to be getting him on. Uh, but the government's answer is, oh, this is global warming causing uh, the coldest temperatures in 1,000 years uh, in Europe and the United States and many other areas. Uh, incredible article on London Guardian. The Tories are going to turn over the national parks of England completely for private sale and logging to pay off debts to foreign banks. Just, just like they're handing over the islands of Greece uh, to the foreign swindling banks. Same thing here. For sale, all of our forest, not some of them, nor most of them, the whole lot. 
So you got to love that. Uh, hypocrite George Mombiot, who openly calls for world government, while simultaneously writing articles for major publications saying it doesn't exist. So that's their total contempt for you. And as long as you're unknowledgeable, they can win. As soon as you're as smart about the New World Order as you are about football, you'll see what scum they are. They revel in you being ignorant. Get smart now. These people are easy to beat. You just haven't fought them yet. If some swollen redneck from Texas can decimate them like a 5,000-foot ogre, what can you do? Hypocrite George Mombiot condemns large, expansive homes. Except his own, just like Al Gore, just giant, lavish, 20,000 square feet, jet aircraft, Al Gore, Mombiot, the Prince of Wales. You shouldn't be able to take a hot bath, but they got scores of homes, just hypocritic, bloated scum, handing over the forest, sawing them down everywhere. But don't worry, a carbon tax will save you. We'll be right back. Stay with us. And I, I've got to get to the satellites that they claim were to stop global warming, that were to analyze it. And now the WikiLeaks and the Germans have admitted it's true, working with the U.S. government. They're pure spy satellites, infrared. Now, what they don't tell you is, the big secret weapon is, on the ground, they get an infrared scan of your body from passive uh, uh, cameras. They then attach it with a face scan integrated in that they already have from your digital photo and your passport or your driver's license. Now they have your heat resonance. Then they create a model of that from the top of your body and off your heat signature from your shoulders and the top of your head, they can identify you from space. And that's what this is really all about, and that's the big secret weapon Bob Woodward talked about that he wouldn't tell you what it was uh, over uh, in uh, Iraq. And they've also got other wavelength uh, systems that send out uh, basically a sonar wave that goes through your clothes, then they can scan a 360 of your body, but they need a biometric scan. That's what the naked body scanners are for. One use is to get that 360 bio scan. And I told you that two years ago, and now it's uh, even the Wall Street Journal told you that. So, look, I know what they're doing. I, okay, I can just, and it's disgusting. And, uh, but oh, it's for the Earth and global warming satellites. It's all lies.